connect and literally <laughs> they all came in the arcturians the andromedans the palladians the sirius high the blue rays you know they all came in the archangels the ascended masters they were they were there ready and they started to work with me and work through me and so i started to just talk to the soul of the baby the soul that was coming through into the baby and I said to the soul, I said, are you coming in just to have an experience in the womb for just a short space of time and then you're going to go? Um, or are you coming in to stay? And uh, so when I started doing the healing, it, it was like going towards, I said, are you going to make it? And he was going, no, I'm not going to make it. And so I could see this like dial going towards no. And I'm like, no, 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 come on, come on. If What are you here for? And he goes, I'm here for the shift. I'm coming in early. I want to be here for the 1st of November because I want to experience a shift in the physical body. So I'm like, okay. Hello, everyone. I hope you're doing well. I hope you had a, an amazing 11-11. It was a powerful day, and I'm sure you would have got lots of downloads. So it was a day for manifesting your dreams and, you know, thinking about 2025 and the energy that's coming in. So there's a lot going on uh, yesterday, and it was a really powerful portal. I did share one of my, um, you know, album creations that I, I, I actually wrote that track in 2019. 2018, 2019, I was guided that I'd find the producer that was going to produce that album and compose it. And uh, yeah, it took me to the US to, you know, Hollywood where I was at an event. And there he was, Barry Goldstein was the who I had to meet to produce that album. And it was a time that was it was being called for. It was, um, you know, the pandemic was about to hit and I had to create this album to create that harmony in the quantum field. So the two of us were brought together to a, a, such an aligned creation to bring that frequency of that album, Devotion to the Light, to the world. And um, I was guided to just put it out there, put it on Spotify, put it out there for whoever needed to receive it. And then again, this year, it's on Spotify, so you can hear the whole album there. But just for 11.11, I heard the guidance and I heard the guide say, you need to put it out on YouTube. You need to put it out now. It needs to be received by many, whoever needs it for this time to remember the mission and why we're here. So uh, I put it out for 11.11. So, you know, have a listen to it. If you haven't listened to it, um, I recommend using headphones because it will just help you to receive the frequencies, the sound activations, and also the the just the, the frequency of the energy that was transmitted through that track. And, you know, when I was recording that album and when I was recording Mirror Mirror, my um, papers, I had papers, I'd written out the, you know, the channeled uh, track in, on, I usually do it on my phone. So I get like <laughs> lyrics and I put it on my phone and it was in my notes. So I'd written it out on a piece of paper and I'm in Arizona in the recording booth and uh, my papers, literally, there was no wind, but they fell to the ground. They literally fell off the, you know, the rack uh, to the ground. And I'm thinking, OK, what do I do? I was in my flow. Do I stop the track and tell Barry that, no, I can't carry on recording or do I just carry on? So I heard the message carry on. So I continued. I closed my eyes and I carried on with the track, whatever came through me. It was literally it was like the divine feminine just like <laughs> stepped in <laughs> And it was just, whew, it just took, it was just a, such a profound journey. I mean, there's times in that track that I don't even recognize my own voice because it's just, it's just like that divine feminine energy that just flows through. Um, and when we finished recording it, it was exactly 22, 22 minutes, 22 minutes, 22 seconds. So <laughs> it was divinely guided. So, you know, I just want that track to be shared. Please share it with anyone who can receive it, who wants to receive it because it, it was written for all it was written for whoever needs to receive that track and we send it with grace and with love to anyone who's here to build the new earth frequencies uh to receive that track and spread it to whoever needs to hear it really send it to whoever needs to hear it because that's why it was written okay the reason why i'm, I'm on today and, and i'm kind of chilling today but no i just went and got my hair done so you know it was like in my morning off but i wanted to share a story with you because i had um you know i received a call uh, i think it was beginning of november at the end of october uh there was a baby it was an emergency so i received a, a call and a message that can i do a session for this baby who was coming in early 
So he's coming in at 27 weeks into, you know, his mother's womb and he's going to be delivered. His water, Her waters had broken and he's coming in early and uh, the family was panicking because they didn't know if he, if he was going to survive. And I was asked if I'd do a session for him as an emergency. So I said I had been working all day that day and I, I really couldn't do it that day. But I said, look, tomorrow morning I will do the session for you. So I go to bed. <laughs> and I'm in bed at 3 a.m. in the morning and I get woken up by the guides and they tap me. Literally, they tap me. And this has never happened before. I get tapped at 3 a.m. in the morning. They said, get up, get up. And I'm like, well, I get what, what's going on? They said, you need to get up. You need to do the session right now. So I'm like, oh, OK. So I sit up in my bed and I start to connect and literally <laughs> <laughs> they all came in, the Arcturians, the Andromedans, the Palladians, the Sirius High, the Blue Rays, you know, they all came in, the Archangels, the Ascended Masters, they were, woo, they were there ready. And they started to work with me and work through me. And so I started to talk to the soul of the baby, the soul that was coming through into the baby. And I said to the soul, I said, are you coming in just to have an experience in the womb for just a short space of time? And then you're going to go. Um, or are you coming in to stay? And uh, so when I started doing the healing, it, it was like going towards, I said, are you going to make it? And he was going, no, I'm not going to make it. And so I could see this like dial going towards no. And I'm like, no, 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 come on, come on. If What are you here for? And he goes, I'm here for the shift. I'm coming in early. I want to be here for the 1st of November because I want to experience a shift in the physical body. So I'm like, okay. So I'm like, okay, come on, let's do this together. We can do this. So we start working with him. We start working on him. And then the dial starts to go from here to yes. It starts to go towards yes. And uh, by the time we finished the session, it was like, yes, yes, yes. I'm going to make it. Yes, I'm going to survive. I'm going to stay. I'm going to be in the body. I can do this. I can do this. And like, all the guides were around me. And when we were done, it was like, okay, it's done. You can relax now. So I kind of sent the mum an email in the middle of the night and saying, I've done the session and it's all good and he's going to be okay. And then I went back to sleep. So anyway, so the guy, so he's telling me, he's telling me, you know, I often tell this to the groups in our community events that there are thousands, if not millions of souls that would swap places with us right now at this time to come into a physical body to experience a shift. I mean, I cannot tell you how many souls are waiting to swap places with us to come in and experience this shift. So sometimes we forget that we have actually been chosen. We've chosen. We are the courageous ones who've come to experience this shift. But this baby who was due in January wanted to come in early. This soul wanted to come into a physical body early to be here for the 1st of November. He goes, I want to experience this shift in a physical body. I want to be here to experience the shift in a physical body. I mean, that just like, whoa. <laughs> That made me like, wow, okay. So, you know, he's come into a physical body at 27 weeks. His lungs aren't still formed. You know, his eyes were not still fully formed. His heart is still forming. His brain is still forming. But he wanted to get in, into the physical realm for the 1st of November. And that just blew my mind. And it just made me realize, you know, this profound time that we're in and the, what's about to happen um, on earth. So, the reason why I'm sharing this is just to remind everyone that what, what is going on right now. So anyway, then I'm guided to do a second session for him because he's uh, he's panicking and he's going into, you know, they've found something in his stomach. So I do a second session with him and he and I say to him, are you OK? And he says, and he says no, it's bloody hard being in a physical body. What was I thinking? It's so difficult and I, I'm struggling and it's just so hard to be. It's just so, oh, I just can't do this. I can't do this. So, you know, he was really struggling um, and he had a hole in his stomach. So they were taking him for emergency operation to, you know, fix that the hole in his stomach. And he was just telling me that it, it was like a man's voice in a baby. And he's saying, no, this is just so hard. I can't do this. What was I thinking? Oh, I'm just crazy. Why did I think about coming in early? You know, I was so I was so excited to get in a physical body, but bloody hell, it's hard. So I can hear him complaining <laughs> to me in, uh, you know, and telling me this, what he's feeling. And I'm like, no, no, come on. You've come. 
you want to be here now let's do this let's shrink that hole let's work together we can do this come on you can do this you're, you're a strong soul why have you chosen to come in a physical body because you can do it so we started to work together we worked together and we we slowly shrunk the the hole down and by the end he was like yeah okay i'm good now <laughs> i'm good and i can carry on and we're good we're good i'm good i'm good so he's come off now the breathing apparatus so he's breathing by himself um he's getting stronger i'm going to do a few more sessions for him i've have done that for babies in the past where they just they come in early or they're struggling we have to help them energetically to get strong and all the guides are around them and the angels are supporting them so we work together as a team um but he's getting stronger and you know the mother's getting stronger and it, things are looking good for him so the reason why i share this story is because he's come in for the shift he wanted to be here for the 1st of november he had to be in a physical body for the 1st of november because he wants to experience this shift and what we're going to go through in december and january he wants to be in the physical body so people <laughs> so family family human family get ready honestly get ready we're about to go through a massive quantum shift so prepare yourselves you are here for this so let's do this let's experience what we're about to experience and to step into this next phase with awe with curiosity with the the willingness to step outside of our comfort zone and to just to see really what is coming in for us what is coming in and how we're going to grow through this time so I think it's just such a beautiful story and I think it's just going to uplift us all because if we know, we know how that households are coming in now for this time, they're trying to get in, they're trying to get in for this time and souls who are choosing to leave who don't want to be here for the shift are leaving but then new souls are coming who want to experience this shift so let's have some gratitude even though we're, you know you may be struggling at this time but just remember why you came and then what this time represents for us here on earth. So I just wanted to share that lovely story and share, you know, and just inspire you so that you don't lose hope uh, and you just step into December and the rest of this month with, you know, um, excitement, gratitude, curiosity, and a willingness to discover what's coming in next. Yeah, big. It's big. So let's do this. So family, let's do this. Let's do this. Okay, so I just wanted to send you that message. Uh, I'll put it up on YouTube today and just wanted to send you all a hug. I hope you're doing well and I hope 1111 was beautiful for you. Uh, the portal is still open and I do have an 1111 meditation which I will link below that I, ra I recorded years ago, but it's a beautiful 11 minutes uh, 11 minutes uh, by 11 seconds. That's how long it was. So I'll, I'll link it to this so you can listen to that. Um, and I'm putting daily messages on Instagram if you want to connect with me there. I'm also on TikTok as well and Facebook. And if you want to join our Egypt retreat remotely, I have the details below as well because we are also offering an online retreat, the whole retreat online, if you want to join us or if you want to do the 1212 from inside the pyramids. So the pyramids are powerful portals of the freedom codes, I call them the freedom codes that come in and they come into the Egyptian pyramids and we're going to be inside for two hours and I'll be doing a two hour transmission from the pyramids on 12, 12, it's going to be, I mean last time I went in there and, and we brought these frequencies in, I literally saw children being freed, women being freed, animals being freed, you know, all the pyramids being activated and the energy spinning around, opening all the pyramids and the light spreading across the planet and then I started to see the visions of animals being freed horses running free children being re released from entrapments sex slavery being released women being set free I mean you can see the, the freedom codes that come in and then it, as it ripples into the world it starts to free people who are in, entrapped suppressed and shut down it starts to open up and free them so it, it brings the darkness to the light so it's really really powerful it's a powerful stargate and we will be there for 12 12 because we've been called there we'll be the inside for two hours and we are going to be honestly bringing in a tsunami of light so if you want to join us the link is below you can do the online transmission and i will send a recording to everyone who's joining so that they can follow us into the pyramids 
uh, I'll be connecting you in with your name. So you become part of the circle and you receive everything that we'll be anchoring and transmitting on that day. Or you can do the whole retreat if you want to with us uh, remotely. So I put the details below, have a think, tune in. If that feels aligned for you, do it. If you don't want to do it, oh, totally up to you. But we will be there holding space if you do want to do it. Okay, so sending everyone lots of love. I send you lots of hugs. I hope you're doing well. And I'll see you soon on the next video. Take care, everyone, and see you soon.